Okay. Um, in this home vlog, um, I'm going to explain um, a certain style of heavy metal music um, someone was telling me about, um, which I found hilarious. <laughs> One of my mates was telling me about it. Um, um, a certain style, I don't think it's a, an actual style of metal at all, personally, but <laughs> the sound, the, the name of it just cracked me up a lot. <laughs> Um, a style of metal called Nintendo Metal. Um, if, if anyone's ever heard of that, um, okay, basically, um, from my experience, um, I was having this conversation with, um, a few mates of mine, um, a few years back about the band Dragon Force. Um, they're basically a power progressive metal band. Um, you know, they had that one big song that got famous on Guitar Hero called, uh, Through the Forest and Flames. Um, pretty, they're actually a pretty good band, uh, personally. Um, but, um, according to their style, like, um, I think a lot of the sounds and stuff, I think, has been kind of digitally manipulated and it kind of sounds like a, um, like a Super Nintendo, um, kind of, um, vibe to the music, um, which is good because it's, it's different, it's unique, um, <clears throat> and, uh, in my experience, um, um, with music, it's always fun to explore new realms, uh, especially in metal. Like that's one good thing I like about the about metal uh, music is that you find something new in it, and it, and it expands into so many different realms. Like um, you know, when you talk to the average person that doesn't know anything about the music, they just think it's like noise or, you know, like white noise and it's like, and, um, and it's like, what? And they tell you it's not music and they keep saying to them, dude, it's music. There's talent and people, I'm saying there's no talent behind it and I always prove them wrong because it's true. Um, it's a very talented style of music, um, and a lot of people just don't have that open mind, unfortunately, um, cause, um, but you know, if, if you get them hooked on to metal, they're going to change their mind. Obviously, you know what I mean? They're going to change their mind and they're going to think, oh, this is like the best music ever. You know what I mean? It, it could go as far as that, because, um, you know, metal is like, you know, classical music, basically, where, um, where, you know, there's a lot more to it than what a lot of people out there think that aren't part of it. Um, you know, when they think of, like, heavy style vocals, they think of, you know, just someone screaming but you know there's more to it than that and there's certain techniques you know people use to save their throat you know what I mean from wearing out and blowing vocal cords and such such and such <coughs> um so yeah like and the guitars are like very complex in 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 a lot of ways and 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 the music itself is very complex and there's a lot of thought put into it. Um, and that sort of thing, like, like heavy metal music, um, it, it's, to me, it's definitely one of the, the, the more, the more artistic, put it that way. So that's always a good thing, you know, like, 
metal is like is like the renaissance in modern music, basically, if you want to put it that way. <clears throat> anyway, getting back to like this Dragon Force thing, um, I was having a conversation with a few mates and like people, some people were having an R in calling them, um, labeling them uh, Nintendo metal. <laughs> um, and it's like, that's, that's new. Um, and that sort of thing. Um, and I, like I said, I was cracking up. <laughs> and I mean, like, Dragon Force are a pretty good band. Um, from my perspective, like, I'm not massive on the whole power metal thing, but there, there are certain bands I do, do enjoy, um, such as Dream Evil, um, and, um, don't mind a bit of Nightwish, um, that sort of thing, um, um, yeah, a lot of people into stuff like, uh, Blind Guardian and stuff, um, I haven't really heard much of their stuff, like, to say the least, I should maybe check more of their stuff out, um, um, personally, I'm mostly into black metal, uh, death, um, old school, of course, like 80s metal, um, like I suppose, you know, like I'm listen to a lot of like the early power metal stuff, I guess you could say, like Men of War, um, you know, like Men of War are pretty, pretty fucking sweet, um. And, um, of course, your Maiden and Priest, um, that kind of, like, paved the way towards, um, what we call power metal today, particularly with the high operatic vocals and stuff, and, and, yeah, it's like, there's a lot of talent behind it, um, getting back to, um, the Nintendo, uh, metal thing, <laughs> Um, like, I've never even heard of the genre until someone was telling me about it. Like, I've heard of Dragon Force before, and, and, and they sound pretty good. Um, but then, yeah, I had a conversation with a friend of mine, and, um, yeah, and then he, he brought up the, this conversation about Nintendo Metal, and, um, And, um, it was explained, like, uh, Dragon Force, like, um, apparently digitally manipulate, uh, their music to a degree, um, it's part of how they get their sound and stuff, like, um, a lot of the guitar pieces, apparently, I heard, is, like, a little bit, it's like, cut, cut and paste here and there, when when they kind of fuck up or whatever, they go back over it, re-record that, and and apparently I heard they speed it up a bit too, um, which doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. Like some people might say it's cheating, but you know, if if it's part of the, you know the band's style and they're happy of doing that, then you know good for them. You know what I mean? If it sounds good, it sounds good. Um, and uh, I think with that, it, you kind of get this kind of Nintendo vibe thing happening with their music. Um, speaking of Nintendo consoles, um, does anyone remember seeing? one of these babies Super Nintendo console um, this was mine um, back when I was a kid you know I was fully into Nintendo um, used to play like a lot of the Mario games and Donkey Kong games and that sort of thing um, and that sort of thing, um, I 
like I was, yeah, I was like obsessed with it. Um, and then, um, and then, yeah, talk about, yeah, back then, back in the nineties up until now, now you got like your 64s and then your game cubes and then your Wii's and so on. Um, times have changed. But yeah, whenever I think of Nintendo, I think of the classics, like the, like the, um, original Nintendos and, and, and of course the Super Nintendo, you know, old school. <laughs> and, uh, when I think of like Dragon Force now, when I listen to their music, it's like, yep, it's out. A lot of the sound effects you hear in their music sounds like, you know, Yo, know, Mario Brothers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, like this cool, like progressive power metal sort of thing meets Mario Brothers, um, rolled into one, and you get Dragon Force, basically. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I thought I would uh, do a <laughs> vlog on this topic because um. I thought I'd share it, you know, like the whole thing about Nintendo Metal and that kind of thing, like, I've heard, like, other bands like Rings of Satin, not a fan of them at all, to be honest. Um, they kind of sound like, you know, like, they're like deathcore kind of stuff, uh, but they experiment with like a lot of like sci-fi elements and that kind of thing like um i'm sure many of you are probably familiar with them um i'm not a fan of them though um just letting you know that i thought i'd add them into this topic anyway just just something extra to add to the video before i wrap it up um and yeah, so yeah, basically I mostly did this vlog dedicated to Dragon Force um, after having conversation with <laughs> um, a while back and I've had a conversation with a few people about it, like, like have you heard of this Nintendo uh, metal band called Dragon Force and most people would have heard of them. Um, and, um, most people probably wouldn't have heard of them being Nintendo Metal, although a lot of people would, would have picked up on the whole, you know, like, uh, sound effects they have and that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm gonna, um, wrap this up, so, um, I hope you enjoyed that, I trying to do my best like this is kind of new to my channel doing these like um um face um home vlogs um and, and so forth um until then um i'll see you all later